Hello YouTube, it is Alp Viral, and today I'm going to show you how you can bypass FRP Google Lock on the latest Android 10 devices on Samsung. Also, in our channel on Alp Viral on YouTube, you may find different methods to bypass FRP on Samsung and other Android devices, starting from the first Android 5 to the latest Android 10. Okay, so I have Note 9 over here running Android 10. And I'm going to show you how you can bypass FRP. Actually, this is a universal method. It works on all devices running Android 10, all Samsung devices running Android 10. And I'm going to show you step by step how you can complete the FRP Google Lock process. Okay, so let's wait for the phone to start. Okay. So let's check that the phone is actually Google locked. Okay, I'm gonna agree all of this. You need to be connected to Wi-Fi because we will download some stuff. Okay, here we are. The phone asks for the Google lock in order to proceed further. Okay, so now you will need to go back, 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 all the way back to the first page and you want to take a screenshot. In my case, it is with power and volume down. So press them together. It will ask you the, to allow Samsung capture. You need to deny. Okay, you need to do it one more time. Power and volume down. Okay, again, you need to deny and don't ask again. Okay, okay, one more time you need to take a screenshot. This time it will allow you to go to settings. You need to scroll down, go to permissions, okay, sorry, permissions, and you have a search icon on the top right corner. You need to click there and search for Chrome. Okay, click on the Chrome app info on top and hit open on the bottom left. Okay, it will take you to Chrome, hit accept and continue, hit no thanks. And over here on the Google bar, you'll need to type Android 10 FRP by Alb Viral. Okay, so here we go. Hit go. Okay, you'll need to open the, f the first one. Perfect, here it is, the remove Google lock on all Android 10 devices. Perfect, scroll down, read the instructions. And somewhere over here, you should have the download files. Okay, so what you need to download is one remote one file. Okay, remove the add. Okay, so your the, this type of file can harm your device. Okay, you will hit OK. If you don't see the OK button, what you need to do actually, cancel. Okay, you will need to hit download. Click OK. It is downloading. Click open. Go to uh, for security reasons, your phone is not allowed to install unknown apps, so you need to go to settings. You need to go to allow from this source. Hit the back button one time. Install and wait for it to install. Okay, perfect. So we don't want to open this application. So after the the installation is done, you just hit it done. Okay, we are back at the application. Now, click on the Alp Viral FRP tool. Okay, you need to scroll down and you need to find the green button that says click here to download. So you may click it or you just can long press and hit download links. This is same for the other application also. You may long press or you'll just click it. Hit download link. Okay, again, you will hit OK. You will hit open, install and open click continue on the bottom right click ok okay now you need to go to bypass frp go to settings you need to scroll down biometrics and security scroll down other security settings device admin apps and over here you need to check if any of the these uh, applications it is activated we need both deactivated and in this phone they are both deactivated by, by default, so I am good. But if you have any of this activated, you need to disable it. 
okay go back go back to settings and you need to go back to the applications let me find out okay here it is apps you need to scroll down and find google play services here it is the google play services hit disable which is on the bottom left disable app and then force stop okay okay so we disable we force stop the google play services go back to settings and you need to go to accounts and backup click on accounts add account google this is very important that you choose google scroll down click continue okay it will say that the remote one is for an older version but we don't uh, actually have a problem with that now you need to sign in with your gmail account it should be an existing gmail i will sign in with mine okay it will bring you to this page hit agree okay ignore the error message just click outside the white box and you will see that the account is already added over here so go back go back again and what we need to do right now we need to disable we, we need to enable what we uh, disabled earlier so go again to applications or apps click on all apps over here and hit disable so you will see that Google account, Google Play service it is disabled because we disabled it earlier and you hit you need to hit enable. Okay, once you have done that, just go back, continue to go back, go back as far as you can. Okay, go back, back. Okay, so we are on the very first page. Now hit start, set up the phone normally, just go next, hit next. Hit next again okay don't copy because we will make another factory set hit next again okay so over here you see that account is added uh, so we are not required anymore to sign in with the previous account but instead it says that the account is already added go next okay just a sec so you'll need to go to through the setup normally i I, I usually disable these options, but you don't have to. Click accept. Okay. Protect your phone. It is important that you set up a pin. Okay. Continue. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. You can scroll down, hit OK. Adding the finishing touches. So this is the final step, actually. You can skip the Samsung account skip hit finish okay so here we are the phone is completely unlocked but it is important right now that you make another factory set from settings so you remove the frp bypass application that we just downloaded earlier so go to settings okay you need to go to general management reset factory data reset Hit reset over here, enter your current pin. I just uh, created the pin one, two, three, four. Hit next, delete all, and that's it. So after the phone starts right now, the phone will be just like a new one. It will not ask you a pin lock, it will not ask you a Google account. It will just be like a new phone. You can set up the way you want it, and you can sign in with yours if you want. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. This was the method from L Viral to bypass FRP on Samsung's running Android 10. Hit like and don't forget to subscribe.